tell me a little bit about hip hop and what y'all are doing in terms of uh, in terms of the revolution, in terms of documenting it through hip hop. What's the role? What's the importance of hip hop, especially right now in Egypt and North Africa uh-huh. more generally? And maybe tell us a little bit about the work you're doing with Arabian Nights. Definitely, definitely. Uh, in in terms of music, um, hip hop is the only form of music known in, to Egyptians, other part from certain singers like Munir and other people which actually can address any topic, not just love and relationships and breakups and that kind of stuff. We can talk about social issues, political issues, whatever we want to talk about. And people are trying to real- starting to realize that, especially during the revolution. The only music that was really representing them is our music, mm-hmm. not uh, us as Arabian Nights, but uh, us as rappers mm-hmm. in general. Mm-hmm. And it was not only us that were doing the songs, there was other rappers from Egypt and the Middle East doing songs in solidarity to what we were doing here. Mm-hmm. And uh, that people really realized that. The generation that went out and threw rocks at the cops were baggy wearers. Mm. Not just the rappers, but the fans of the hip-hop. The, the hip-hop generation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that did that that, that. that gave the machine a black eye. That was, the, that was our generation. Right. The generation that grew up on fuck the police. Mm-hmm. You know? We are the only ones who managed to fuck the police and That's fuck right. the system and fight the power. And bring power back to the people. That's we right. embodied those terms that y'all talk about but don't live by. Yeah. That's right. You know? Yeah, America needs to wake up because America is under a lot of lies and under a lot of oppression that you don't know of. Mental oppression. They're mentally oppressing you from knowing the truth and from choosing your own destiny. Choosing where your tax money goes. Right. You don't know where your tax money goes. That's that right. means that you don't have control over your own destiny. Yeah. Whatever the system that you're under right now is going to put the people in charge that you're going to think that you're voting for and choosing, but at the same time, they're a lineup from a team that goes for the same thing, mm-hmm. for the same goal. So you don't have a choice. Your system is not going to change until y'all revolt, unfortunately. It's real. Europe is realizing that right now. Uh-huh. Spain is realizing that. Greece is realizing that. Yep. The UK is realizing that. We got to be next. America, come on. <laughs> we got to catch up. We got a lot what of catching up to for? do. Do we need to build a Tahrir Square over there? Probably, man. <laughs> We're going to have to take over our squares. Tell, we, us, tell us about Arabian Nights, though. Arabian and Nights. And what's going on with and, them and, and future and projects. Album. Yeah. We're three uh, members. It's me, myself, Kareem, a.k.a. Rush, or Saif Allah, depending on what language I rap in. <laughs> and there is Imani, Ihab, and there is Sphinx, Hisham, who's in L.A. right now. And um, uh, we are three members, and we have a fourth unofficial member which is Fred Reck who is behind a lot of our behind the scenes music and business deals and everything much love to Fred Reck yeah, yeah. in LA representing us there and uh, we are um, we just finished an album called United State of Arabia USA yep. uh, and uh, it's 16 tracks um, it's very, mostly Arabic music but every song has at least one English verse on it and uh, this is going to be the introduction to the Arab world and the Arabs abroad and anybody who's interested in Arab culture mm-hmm. abroad this is going to be the introduction to us we had we, we were negotiating with a global label right now to distribute it worldwide and of course on iTunes hopefully it'll be out in September which is right before the elections we want to release it at that point right. and uh, right after that we're working on English projects as well for America okay. for the media in America we already appeared on General Steel from Bootcamp Click's album on a song with him and Planet Asia and Rusty Jokes and Shabam Sadiq and uh, a lot of other people it's called America's Nightmare mm-hmm. It was two years ago or a year and a half ago, mm-hmm. and uh, we might be working with Biril and the Blue Blue Raspberry from Wu Tang and uh, Biril from Cypress Hill, obviously, yep, and yep. Um, maybe Corrupt. I'm not sure. We, we we're trying to get in touch with as, with, uh, with as much foreign rappers as possible that are down with the cause no doubt. to spread our knowledge over there. We got our own brand of even party music, not just political music. We're mixing traditional ghetto music from Egypt that's like crunk on its own sense. Yeah. And we're mixing it with hip hop beats, English and Arabic, getting the singers from their culture, from the ghetto culture, to sing while we rap in English, yeah. to do a little thing that's gonna be like reggaeton but times 300. Love it. Love <laughs> it's, it. Going to, it's gonna rock the clubs over there soon, hopefully. Uh, be on the lookout for that. And um, right. apart, apart from that, we hope that we can get to America very soon and talk to the people, talk some knowledge to the people. Yep. Talk some unity to the people because we don't believe that what the media has been telling us for the past 30 years under the, the corrupt regime is the truth. Mm-hmm. We don't have enemies. We're mm-hmm. not supposed to have enemies. Mm-hmm. America is not the enemy. Yeah. Americans are people just like we are people. We should both look at each other that way. Right. That's how God created us. That's how God wanted us to be. He made us different for a, for a certain specific chance for us to understand and learn from uh-huh. each other's differences. Uh-huh. But we never get that. 
we are still tribal. Get divided too easily. Yes, like and we God is about. against tribalism. Unity is not tribalism. Islam and Christianity and Judaism protected humanity from, from tribalism. Mm -hmm. But politics is all about tribalism. tribalism that's right. So you got to pay attention to that. Shout outs to everybody in America, in uh, Europe, all over the world. No doubt. We're one. And we're going to be doing our work to try and get you out to the States. Hopefully, inshallah. Real soon. Inshallah. No doubt. Kareem from Arabian Nights. Much yes. love. Many blessings. Thank you so much, bro. Peace. And, let's, and, and, and shout out to uh, Kareem's mom once again. Put a bomb <laughs> food. She brought it. Yum. Yeah, if y'all bring me over to LA, I might bring some, some of this with me. <laughs> all the more reason. <laughs> all the more reason. All the more reason, exactly. One exactly. love, Kareem. One love. Peace, man.